<laughs> guys, I want to tell you a story today. Um, we'll call it Wilco and the Wild Boar. Oh wait, hang on. Could that be a good band name? Hmm, maybe. Anyway, I Wilco and the Wild Boar. Um, I often walk through the woods in my house. Uh, it's wonderful, I'm really grateful that I have uh, so much nature so close to my house in the middle of the city, my apartment in the middle of the city. Um, it's really, it brings me down to earth, really helps uh, when I'm, it's been a bad morning, you can probably see by my eyes, <laughs> but it really helps bringing me, uh, bringing me down to myself, um, and the story anyway, the story. Um, so yeah, along, or in these woods, a part of these woods, there's an enclosure for wild boar. Um, well, not really wild, I guess, because they're in an enclosure, but you get what I mean, they're, they are wild boar. And I must have walked past that place so many times. <laughs> so many times. And I'd never seen these pigs, right? I'd never seen these wild boar before. Um, until last week. Last week, uh, as I was approaching, I saw like uh, a couple of families, you know, stood around cooing and things, and uh, and then I thought, right, today's the day, fantastic, and and I got there, and right, yeah, there were two, um, <laughs> there were two snuffling around in the, you know, in the leaves and whatever, and it was wonderful. I've never seen of these creatures. Apparently, they're quite ubiquitous to these parts, but um, I I haven't seen them before, so I was really, really, uh, really happy. Actually, I was really happy. Um, and I heard a guy, uh, one of the dads actually from these families, and his, what he said was, oh, there's only two. <laughs> and I thought, I could sense, you know, I could feel his disappointment, and, you know, I think he got his phone out straight away, and just started, I don't know, uh, looking at stuff on Facebook or whatever. Um, checking his emails. <laughs> you know, and I thought, for one thing, you know, like, the kids were loving it, you know, so why isn't he engaging with his children? Uh, but the other thing was, you know, like, I'm so happy and I was feeling so grateful for finally seeing these creatures, uh, you know, and there's this other person who is disappointed with the encounter and I just thought, it made me realize something that, because uh, gratitude has been Gratitude has been on my to-do list, my to-promote list for the last, I don't know, it's been, it's been a while. It's been something, I never used to feel a lot of gratitude. I used to struggle saying thank you uh, and asking for help and things. Uh, so that's something I've really been working on myself. And, and it was kind of the first moment for me when I realized, oh, yeah, okay, things have changed. It's really, really difficult, you know, to see. I mean, this could be with any changes, physical changes, emotional changes, personality changes. It's really, really difficult for you because they happen so gradually. It's really, really difficult. And I see this with my, um, with my clients as well. I'm an English teacher. The, the improvements are so gradual that you, as the learner, the improver, you barely notice you barely notice. I mean, this this is the same with, you know, weight loss or weight gain. Um, uh, anything, actually, you know. It happens so gradually that you barely notice. So it's really, really important from time to time to kind of reflect and to think about actually how far you've come. Think about who you were five years ago, five months ago, whatever. Um, and really think about that from time to time. Because you just won't notice. It'll pass you by. You know, so that's what it was for me. That's the story of Wilco and the wild boar. Um, it was me kind of realizing that I have made leaps and bounds in terms of my gratitude attitude. Um, yeah, and the message here to you guys is you may not feel like you're making progress, but take a step back and think about it. How, are you actually making progress? How are you different now than you were six months ago, one year ago, five years ago? Think about that, okay? And stay safe out there. Bye. Stay safe from wild boar. They're quite dangerous, actually. But. Bye.